Hello, and welcome to the Hazard Workforce On-Demand Training Video Series. In this lesson, we will explore the core features of Blackboard Ultra. For this lesson, you will need to know how to navigate to and log into the KCTCS Blackboard Learn portal. If you are not sure how to do this, please watch the How to Navigate to KCTCS Blackboard Learn video lesson before starting. Begin by opening an internet browser window in split screen view. If you do not know how to do this, please pause this video and click on the link below to view a short tutorial. In your internet browser, I want you to navigate to Blackboard and log in using your KC TCS credentials. I will be accessing Blackboard through my path on the HCTC homepage. Now once you have navigated to Blackboard and you've logged in using your KCTCS credentials, you will see that on the left side of the screen will be several links to some of the core features of Blackboard. Here you will find links to your profile, activity stream, courses, the global calendar, messages, and your grades. Your profile is where you can change your personal information. You can insert a profile picture and change your notification settings. The activity stream is a real-time update for all your courses. You can just click on any of the entries to navigate to that item. Your courses is where you will find your individual classes listed. It is here that you will access each individual course you are enrolled in. And we will explore that further in just a moment. The global calendar is where you can see what is scheduled for all your courses and check on the due dates for assignments. You can change the view to see upcoming events by the week or by the entire month. You can add different items or edit existing items by clicking on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. Here. The messages and grade features are where you can read or send messages and check your progress in all your classes. The link that you will use most is the courses feature. As I said, this is where you will gain access to your courses. If you have many classes that you are enrolled in, you can mark your most frequently visited class by clicking on the star to the right. This will place that class at the top of the list so you can easily find it. Once you find the class that you are looking for, left click on the title and you will be taken to that main page. As an instructor, I have access to features that students do not. So I will enter student preview mode so you can see exactly what it will look like when you log in. On the left side of the window, there are menu items that will help you navigate to the different features within the course. The main window here is where you will find your course content. The top right of the window has action buttons that will navigate you to different sections of the class. Like the class calendar, you can join in class discussions, you can check on your course progress, and you can see specific messages for this class you can also send messages to other members within your class. 
In the course content section is where you will find all the course materials that the instructor has loaded for you. The different sections are grouped by subject matter. You can left click on a heading to expand that section. Here you can find documents, links to videos, assignments and quizzes. Just left click on the link to view the object. Here I clicked on a PDF file that the instructor has loaded and wants the students to read. The calendar action button is where you will find a planner that will help you keep track of your assignments and due dates. You can view this planner by the week or by the month. The discussions page is where you will find any group discussions that the instructor has created for you. Here you can add your thoughts and read the comments left by your classmates. The gradebook is where you will find your posted grades and all the assignments, quizzes, and exams. You can also read any feedback the instructor has left for you. Messages is where you can read, reply, and send a message to anyone in your class. Just click here on the plus sign to start a new message. Blackboard also has a video conferencing feature called Blackboard Collaborate, and it's located right here. If your instructor has scheduled a meeting, simply click on Join Session and be taken to the conference. When the message comes up, you must allow Blackboard Collaborate to access your computer's microphone to be able to speak. It is important to note that you will need to check your email and Blackboard messages every day as these will be the primary ways that your instructor will communicate with you throughout the course. This completes the short tutorial on exploring KCTCS Blackboard Learn. Please feel free to continue exploring all the links on your own to help you fully experience all that Blackboard has to offer. If you would like to be notified of our other on-demand training videos, please make sure to subscribe by clicking below on the link. Thank you and have a great day.